overheats. No! Game time for... Oh! Alright folks, today we're running through Mega Man 2. Let's do this. Oh man, you know, most everybody I knew had never even heard of Mega Man until Mega Man 2 came out. And then played Mega Man 2 and were completely blown away by how awesome it was. And everybody started wondering, where the hell was Mega Man 1? Alright, so a lot of people tell you Air Man's the best guy to go to first, because uh, he's not too difficult. Um, he's easy to beat without any extra weapons, but don't listen to those people, you listen to me. Overheat says you always fight Mega or Metal Man first. Yes. Metal Man is the guy to defeat first, always. First of all, his level isn't that tough. Oh yeah, here we go. Some little hops. Hop, hop. You get an energy tank right out the gate, in case you do suck. You know, you get a little bit of help. No, you don't. Not tasting Mega Man flesh today, buddy. <laughs> Just take it easy. Not trying to win the Olympics here. Just trying to not get crushed. So far, so good. Those are not one hit death, I just don't want to get hit by them. Okay, this part's not too tough, you just gotta keep moving and shooting. These little things keep coming. I think they're supposed to be drills, look more like feathers to me. Ah. Getting hit once or twice here is not a thing. It's It happens, it's impossible to get through as far as I know without getting hit. Or just lucky, really. Doing little tap jumps makes them get through faster. Okay, so now, if you kill the little clown on top of the gear, the gear keeps coming, so where in the clown just dies. So get the gear if you can. Not even bother to get that one. Whoop. 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 And we're already done. See? That's how easy this level is. Why wouldn't you go here first? The boss isn't that tough either. It's amazing to me that some people find this game challenging. Like, certainly there have been mega games that were a challenge. I never felt this to be one of them. See? Just like that. Like, how easy was that? So first of all, you get an energy tank right out the gate. Second of all, the level's not that tough. Third of all, the level's not that long. And fourthly, you get basically the best weapon in the game. So... This weapon destroys Bubble Man. Um, Air Man, again, isn't very difficult by himself, so we're just going to go ahead and hit Bubble Man and uh, watch the stars fly by as it says, yes, a snorkel face is your enemy. Someone who calls himself Bubble Man, possibly the least intimidating sounding enemy of all time. Okay, so, oh boy, see right away, I got these little, these little guys we can't hit, jumping all over the place. Little trick, if one of them is out, this guy cannot spit anymore. So if you keep one with you, you never have to worry about the frogs. Alright. Let's just switch it out to the metal, metal man weapon. So now this weapon isn't the best against these guys actually, so I should probably switch back. Um, kill them off. Okay, so first of all, this weapon requires you to shoot a couple of times before you actually even lose just one little meter off of the, the gauge for the weapon over there on the left, that grayer, the grayer of the two meters. And there are very few enemies that this weapon doesn't do a really good job of destroying. This is one of the enemies. It just makes it more difficult if you kill them with this, with the, the metal weapon. 
The metal weapon is one of the few that stops him when you shoot it. However, you can shoot it in all eight directions. See, look at that, I just shot like nine or ten of them and I hardly lost anything from my meter. However, it's also like a laser beam. See, that just cut through everything. Just cutting through everything. See, this weapon... And enemies can't come at you at awkward angles because you can just... Nope, get out of here. Nope, get out of here. fun though. Now remember these little guys, now that I have this weapon, look at that, cuts them right off the ground. Masters are about to be done. So the trick with Bubble Man is you don't want to jump too high, because if you do, you'll instantly die, because the spikes on the top. But you should never even really care about jumping. This guy's like so easy. Rip, rip, rip. Done. Three shots. So in case you are unfamiliar with Mega Man, uh, the name of this game is Finding the Robot Master's Weapon That Beats the Other Robot Master. Uh, every time you beat a Robot Master, you gain his abilities, hence why I beat Metal Man and I'm now shooting the little blades that he was shooting at me earlier. Um, so Metal Man, as you can see, it killed Bubble Man in just three shots. If I would have used my regular weapon, not only would I have not been able to just sit there and throw them anywhere I wanted, I would have had to have jumped and shot him right at the right spot, uh, it would have taken a lot longer to kill him. So, uh, you know what, I think I'll go ahead and go to Air Man. The stars flying by as a guy with a giant fan in his chest is ready to fight me. Okay, so right away we're going to go ahead and switch to the metal weapon because that's basically easy button. Um, it makes the game much, much easier to get through because again, like I said, you don't have to worry about angles. Like this would be a normally an awkward angle, don't even care. I would have to position myself correctly and jump at the right spot. Nope, don't care. Just up, up left and fire. You're dead. So easy. Get out of here. I'll ride your little cloud. Okay, so two shots and they're dead. Right here, right? Yep. Seems that I still remember this game. Boop, boop. I will take your little hover car. So again, if you didn't have this weapon, these guys are a lot more difficult, because when they get close enough, they chuck the lightning bolts at you, and you have to jump while trying not to die. It's, yeah, not as easy as all that. Uh, these birds, if you let them hit the egg on the ground, you have a bunch of little baby birdies come attacking you. Ah! So it's always better just to kill off the egg as soon as you see it. Hey, shooting those foam toys that you put in a pool. I don't know why. I guess they're kryptonite to Mega Man. Apparently everything's kryptonite to Mega Man. <laughs> now you can actually make your life really difficult here if you're not careful. Because uh, you have to wait for the horns to come down. You have to wait till the horns come down to move. Oh god. So if you make the other one materialize at the worst possible time, you can make your life a lot harder than it needs to be. Oh no you don't, birds. See, this is a great place for cheap deaths, because you can't see you can't see above you, so you could totally jump into one of those birds by accident. But again, with the um, metal blade, it's not an issue. Man, this thing's throwing extra lives at me. Like they were going out of style. Alright, so this guy, uh, there is a weapon that kills him fast, I don't have it, but 
that's fine because he dies pretty easily to this. You just have to be not afraid to take some shots. It's the easiest way to beat him. Okay, so I'm gonna take a shot here. Jump over those. I can hit him a couple times. If you move forward while you shoot, they'll go right under his. Um... So when he he has three different formations. When he does the formation that has two whirlwinds on the bottom, if you stand and shoot, they will deflect them. But if you move forward, the shots are just low enough that they'll go underneath the tornadoes, and you can hit him like two, three times before he pushes the tornadoes at you. <clears throat> so yeah, so long as you fight him, understanding that you're gonna take a couple hits, not that hard. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and check out part two.